I see someone using two bars for hip thrusts, I'm throwing hands. Whoa, bro, relax. Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about the ab mat pivot pad. Straight up, this thing is super cool. Admittedly, I'm a little biased because I'm a co-inventor, but if you're looking for a space efficient, cost effective alternative to a full on hip thrust machine, the pivot pad is it. Wanna buy one? Check the link in the description and use code Kaizen10 to save 10%. Every purchase helps support this crazy thing I'm doing. Just use a bench. Dude, totally. A bench will get the job done. One of the benefits of using the pivot pad is being able to adjust the height. Can't do that with a bench. The pad moves with the body during the movement, so it's actually more similar to how a dedicated hip thrust machine works. But we'll get more into that later. First, let's go back to the beginning. Early in 2022, after receiving a lot of requests, I started working on a DIY hip thrust project. I spent a few days on it and basically ended up taking an upholstered pad from a previous project and affixing it to a barbell. Super simple, but very effective. The idea was different and novel enough, I thought before posting the video, maybe I should pitch it to Abmat to see if they'd wanna make it. Dylan immediately responded, saying that he was working on the same exact thing with the ready state. We agreed to work together and combined the best aspects of both designs. The result is a comfortable pad made of high density foam. Inside is a hard plastic core that provides rigidity and stability during the movement. It easily installs on any barbell with one inch diameter. The grip is tight enough Enough that it stays on the bar. When you're not using it, it takes up little to no space. Since releasing it, we've received a lot of questions, so I'm gonna tackle those. Will bar knurling mess up the pad? The pad rotates around the bar, so a bar with no center knurl will work the best. I have tested it on a bar with passive knurl and a bar with aggressive knurl. This passive knurl with Cerakote finish is no issue at all. I suspect the aggressive knurl from my Ohio Power Bar will chew up the foam over time. Does it work on a Smith machine? I don't have a Smith machine, but I did use clamps to lock my barbell in place to test this question. I'd say the previous answer still applies. Passive neural is fine. Aggressive neural is not great over the long term. Do the J-cups get damaged as the bar rotates? In my experience, the bar doesn't rotate in the J-cups, so your J-cups should be fine. Will it fit on something other than a barbell? Yeah, it'll fit on any one inch pipe that's strong enough to handle the weight. Will it fit on an axle bar? No, an axle bar is gonna be too thick. Do larger people need an XL version? When I was prototyping, I actually made a nine by nine version and I use that quite comfortably. So I don't think that larger people necessarily need a larger pad. Will the weight bend the bar? Any decent barbell should be able to handle the weight. How does it handle heavy weights? I loaded it up with as much weight as I could handle and it stayed solid and rigid and comfortable. When the algorithm took the video beyond the home gym bubble, the comments started getting wild. No hip thrust in the squat rack. Great, now people can use two bars for hours during rush hour. Don't be a bitch. Can you imagine using two bars at a gym and not getting murdered? I see someone using two bars for hip thrust, I'm throwing hands. Wow, man, the commercial gym seems like a hostile place. Nothing makes me appreciate my home gym more than seeing stuff like this. I mean, I get it. If my gym was super crowded and short on equipment, I'd be frustrated too. I did receive a lot of questions about what else it can be used for, so here's what I tried. If I'm forgetting something, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.